Hey guys, it's Monica. I am going to give you a quick update on my dad and I'm also going to talk to you about our weekend away. I, um, I did do a little bit of a vlog, so I'm going to include that at the tail end. We went up to Booth Bay Harbor, Maine. It was absolutely a beautiful, beautiful weekend and it was really good to decompress as much as I could, although I never, I never was able to remove myself from the thoughts of my dad and, and all of that. We were only gone basically three days, but the entire time we were, we were in touch. So when I was away, one of the things that I did every single day is I ended up wearing these lippies. I actually have them on now. They're very, these are the, the YSL, and I've talked about these before, and I showed them in my last video. These were sent to me complimentary from YSL via the Octoly Network, and I, I absolutely love them. You've got a plumping, you've got a gloss. They just really feel... I think they really feel really, really nice on. They last nice. They look nice, I think. Now, I have been able to add a little bit of a more of a lip color if I want, or just the complete nude look like this with a little bit of a, a nude liner. I like it a lot. It's it's beautiful. I don't know, maybe a little bit of luxury, but it just, they made me feel really, really good. The other thing that I got, and I got this sent to me sort of like right before we left. So this is from City Beauty, and this was their huge launch. And by now you've probably seen a number of other content creators talk about this because I know they sent this out as PR to, to a number of other, other people. One that comes to mind is Carla Robinson. I believe reviewed it, All That Beauty with Lori. I'll try to link their channels I think it was the two of them that I saw, and, and probably a number of others. But this is their Blue Defense Hydro Gel. So this is something that you can put on your skin to soothe your skin, dry patches. It smells really, really nice. It does come with a little tiny little spatula that you can go ahead and dig in there, and you can put it on your skin. The directions say use it morning and night on clean skin. So, you know, sometimes I get products sent to me, and I'm not too sure on the layering, because I've been using CBD on my skin. This, by the way, is totally, well, just about empty. This is the Maku. So because I've been using the CBD on my skin, and I use that on my naked skin, so trying to figure out the layering of some of the products can be a little bit complex. This does say use morning and night on your bare skin. I've tried it on my bare skin, and then I put my CBD on my skin afterwards. I put my C CBD on, and I've tried it on top of it. So blue light, you know, computers, the fatigue of that, this is supposed to really, blue defense, this is supposed to be something that really helps combat, combat that tiredness from the blue light that you get from all your computer, all your screens and all that stuff. It feels really, really nice. Now, I haven't given it a fair shake yet. I just got it. I've tried it a couple of times and, um, you know, and trying to figure out, like I said, the layering. So I'm going to continue to play with it. In the interim, I will link the channels that I saw that people that have used it. Now this, I really like. This is their Invisible, Invisi Crepe Body Balm. I like this. So this, I'm going to try to pull it off. I have, because I took this with me. Ooh. Anyways. It smells really good and this is a body balm so I use this on my legs on my thighs on my arms on my hands as a moisturizer I really like it a lot now is it going to do anything to deal with my um, crepey skin I don't know but I've been using that a lot the other, the other thing that I've been using and I have actually been using this surprisingly now for I think going on two weeks I took this with me up north and I used it every day. Now I also have a face cream. I didn't bring that in, but the face cream, I've tried it a couple of times. And um, to be quite frank with you, the face cream does not play nice with foundation on me. And that could just be my skin. So I can't use the face cream and then put foundation on. And I also found that because I do the CBD on my skin, that my skin is very moisturized. I don't really need another lotion, which is why I'm still trying to figure out how to use this guy. Dr. Lily Fan 
I never heard of this company. This was sent to me in PR. This was highly recommended by one of you guys. What I do is a tiny little dab after I take my makeup off and I put it from my eyes all the way up to my brows on my lids. I was impressed with this. It's a probiotic and this is a eye. It is a probiotic eye defying eye serum forming and lifting and just revitalizing your eyes. It says that you can actually put this on your lid and that's what I've been doing. I've been putting it on my lid and I go all the way up. And then it, and I think I talked about this, that this has a slight sting. It dissipates pretty quick. And then I put the eye cream all around and I put that down here. Anything that's left over, I do, I always do this. Whatever I do, I do on my 11s, I do on my smokers if there's anything left on my fingers, on my smokers um, wrinkles. Now, this I like a lot. I can't say to you 100% that I'm noticing a big difference with this yet, but I haven't been using the Nivea. I have been, I haven't been using my Olay. I've just been using this. My eyelids are very, very crepey. There, there's a lot of loose skin on my eyelids. I'm thinking this is helping that situation at least momentarily because it feels good when I put it on and then I apply my makeup afterwards and my eyeshadow everything goes on really good I mean this does not interfere with the application of my eyeshadow at all it is way too soon for me to definitively say yes this is lifting this is firming this is doing anything for my lids but I will tell you that I like it enough that I will continue to use it it's not inexpensive this was sent to me from PR they sent me a, a big bottle of their face cream as I said, I have a hard time with that because I can't do it in the morning. It, I put my foundation on and it's like icky. So I can't use it for that. But I do like it a lot. And they also sent an exfoliation set, which I have not used. But I did want to give you a little bit more of an update on this. Again, these are all sent to me PR. Who would have thunk it that I'd be saying PR? City Beauty has sent me a bunch of lippies in the past. They have... A face mask that I swear is probably the best face mask ever. Now, I would have loved it if they sent me some more of those, to be honest with you. I love those face masks. Really, really good, good stuff. And the only other thing I want to tell you is when we were away up north, we ended up buying a bottle. We went to a CBD shop in Maine. Now, granted, you should you should obviously check with your doctor and make sure whatever you're using, especially when it comes to any kind of like CBD or whatever, you, you want to make sure that it wouldn't be something that would interfere or anything of that nature with any of your medication. Just be proactive if you are on medication. I ended up buying another bottle and I am also getting another bottle of the Maku. This is what I've been using most every single night on my skin. I still use, because I have a little bit of the Florin Bass left, I've still been using that in the morning, but the Maku I've been using at night. Every time I talk about it, people say, well, what's the difference? Which one should I get? Should I get the floor and bath? Should I get the Magoo? Which one should I get? I'll tell you that in the floor and bath, it's a very light, I think it's like 300 and some odd milligrams in the bottle of CBD. So there's not a whole lot of huge concentration of CBD in that bottle. There's enough in there that gives you some really good moisturization, does some healing for me, healing, maybe not for you. It'll heal if I have a breakout, it has made my my veins lighter. It has not, they've not gone away, I still have them. It's made them lighter and, uh, and all of that. Now, this bottle, the one that I have in my hands is 5,000 milligrams. The one I bought is 1,800 milligrams. You know, if you're gonna get something with a high concentration of CBD, you are gonna pay money for it. And you just wanna make sure it's not mixed with a bunch of stuff that you can't deal with. So they have to have a carrier oil. I'm not gonna give you a lesson on that. Definitely check with your physician any, anytime you wanna try anything like this. With my dad being in the hospital, it's been, it's been just an incredibly stressful time. I had, one day, this is what I did. I went out with, can you believe it? And I went to the dentist and I didn't, until I looked at my feet in the chair, I didn't realize it did this. I also fell one day. I hurt my knee, hurt my ankle, hurt my hip. And I used my Realm cream I put that on that's a CBD cream the topical and I put that on my knee and and it just made it feel so much better the Magoo which is the one I've reordered and I also bought a different one for 1800 milligrams I think has made the, the biggest difference because of the amount 
in the bottle of CBD. This is really pricey. The product that I bought is an other brand. If I can find the bottle, I'll grab it for you and, and link it below. But you can, you can really shop around. So you can get a 1,000 milligram or a 2,500 milligram bottle of the Magoo for the same price as you can for a Florin bath. So it's the amount and the concentration of the CBD that you are looking for. Now this definitely has a very woodsy smell. So that I wanted to say. So update on dad before I go to the vlog. Dad had his procedure, had his valve replaced. That went well. It was touch and go all week, whether it was gonna happen or not. And then finally, yes, he stabilized, stabilized enough that they felt they could do it. They did replace his valve. He had a hard time in recovery. It took a while for him to come out of recovery, I think three hours. They, they expected an hour. So now he's in a, in a rehab facility. So he's getting better. He's getting slowly better, slowly stronger. We're hoping that he can go home soon, you know, be able to function and go home soon. So, and during this time, our little baby grandson was born, as you all know, Augie. He's horrible. Anyways, he was born. So we had sad news, happy news, sad news, happy news, you know, mixture and mixture. And I wasn't just sure I wanted to go away. I almost canceled it, but I knew that at this point there was nothing we could do. We had had reservations for quite a while, so we made the decision to go. And I think I said, even though we were away, my heart was with my dad in the hospital. So all your prayers, all your, your well wishes, everything was, was just wonderful. And I just want to thank you all from the bottom of my heart. Now. Stay tuned for my vlog. So I'm gonna try to vlog a little bit this weekend. I don't know if I'm gonna actually do it, but Jay and I are up in Maine. And most of you know, it's been an emotional week for me with dad being in the hospital. And then we had our baby grandson bought. Bought. <laughs> Born. Yeah, yeah, we paid a little bit for him. We paid a little money, Augie. And, um, and he's adorable. And dad's been in the hospital for almost two weeks now. Yeah. ever since we came home from South Carolina. So we took a, uh, a short weekend trip up to Maine and we just went into a CBD shop. <laughs> Jay bought some. Now we're gonna walk out there on the rocks and uh, it's just beautiful, Ocean Point. Right, honey? Oh, it's gorgeous, our happy place. Our happy place. I wish I lived here. Yeah, I can live here. I can most definitely live here. I love it. This is such an awesome spot to walk. But you always feel like we're going across someone's yard. This is actually the Ocean Point Colony walkway. And this is absolutely perfect for people like us and other tourists to come and walk. So yeah, we uh, checked out the CBD and we got a great buy. So it's a tincture. So Jay's gonna test it for pain. I'm gonna stick it on my face and see how it does for... You're gonna put it on your face? Yeah. But you've got a bottle and stuff for your face. I do well, I do. I'm gonna finish that. Look at this. Whoa. Look at, oh my gosh. Look at how majestic the ocean is. We might get wet here. We get swept out to sea. Whoa. So we climbed all the way out here and we've watched people down on the edge of the rocks. When those waves came up, they were so ferocious. They almost knocked these two guys off. They got them soaking wet. I'm like, I'm not going down there. I mean, you can see how close we are to the edge. And this is um, one of our favorite spots. We climb out here every trip usually. I think we might have maybe missed one or two times coming out here, but it is a beautiful, if you ever get up early enough to try to come out for the sunrise. Uh, but oh my gosh. It is just breathtaking. So I think we're going to make our way back. I don't know. It, I think the tide is coming in, actually. It seems like the water's coming up higher. And 
I'm sort of afraid to be trapped out here. Because <laughs> look, I'm going to show you where we have to go back. And then we turn this around. So, is Mr. J. And, and this, this over here is private property, so you can't walk there. But you can walk along the rocks. And as you can see, we have a narrow pathway here that isn't... <laughs> oh my lordy, lordy, lordy. And there's a sailboat way out there yonder. I don't know if you can see it. It's a, a sailboat. And there's a little lighthouse over there. And we're going to climb back. Be careful. These are really wet, wet rocks. So what an awesome walk out there. Oh, love those flowers over there. <laughs> Such a pretty spot. I'm going to turn the camera around so you can see the flowers. I'd love to own this house. I can imagine the flood insurance must be high. So we normally, when we come down this way, we normally stop at this beautiful little church down the way, but there's a wedding. So there was like no parking and, and all that because there's this gorgeous wedding going on. And when I say gorgeous, if you saw, well, I know I've shared the church before, but it is amazingly beautiful location for a wedding and I've always said to Jay that if we ever were to get married again, like renew our vows, I mean, I would want to do it up here in this stone church by the side of the ocean. And when you open up the doors and you come out, all you see is the beautiful ocean. That's, that's where I would get married. Yeah, that's what I would do. So with Jay, it's be renewing the vows. Just over there taking a picture of me doing my selfie style here with a uh, with my camera. Did you take a good picture of me uh, doing the selfie style, hun bun? Yep. I was just saying that if I ever got married again, like I mean, like in renewing our vows, that we would come up here. We said that for how many years we come up here to that little church, and we would renew our vows there. Yeah. You know absolutely a beautiful spot point look at that i mean seaweed across the road i don't think all the time we've come up here we have ever seen it you have to go pretty fast i think don't slow down you afraid you'll get stuck i don't want to get bottom out uh, okay. yeah, i've never seen this before i'm surprised they don't have a front end loader coming and taking this all out holy moly i've never it, seen I, this like i've this. never seen it like this all the years we've come across this place we and we've come here often. Do you think it's been an exceptional? It's all the way over there. I know. It must Holy have been from the mackerel! Must have been from that nor'easter. Wow. Yeah, all the time we've come over here, we've not ever seen this like this. Wow. Stopped at the dock across from Ocean Point Inn. This dock in the summertime is usually full of people. We have a lot of happy memories here. One of our first trips that we did for a off weekend along the coast of Maine after we got married, it wasn't our honeymoon or anything, it was just a couple of years afterwards. We came up here and we stayed in Ocean Point Inn where we are right across the street. And it was like amazing. And we walked, I walked every day all along Ocean Point Inn uh, Road all the way down to Grimes Beach where we went out on the rocks and it was just beautiful so that year we stayed in the inn and we met up with camping friends that we still friends with today and work together and they were up here in Booth Bay in a camper and we were looking at camping because we had been tent camping and we decided we wanted to get some sort of a camper and so after we met up with them and went over to the campground that they were staying in and saw their camper we ended up buying our motorhome they said hey you know what you got a tent you can go ahead and buy a pop-up then you can go ahead and buy a truck camper then you can go ahead and buy a fifth wheel then you can go ahead and get a class a why not save all those steps in between and get a class a <laughs> so we did we got our first class a after that and um, life has been an adventure in maine our favorite place to go and ocean point has always been special to us. So we are over in Southport Island at Cockles Lighthouse. 
it is really sweet here and I think it's just awesome. Look at that float set up. It is gorgeous here. I don't know if you can pick up some of the colors behind me, but really it's beautiful. And there's a lighthouse over there, but you really can't get to it. Just a beautiful spot. Southport Island, the, I think we're on Beach Road. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Well, I didn't see it, but I just stepped down there in um, water and I got my sneakers all wet. So, hey guys, we've had the most amazing weekend and I, I think we both really needed to, at least I needed to, hugely try to de-stress. So the weekend was awesome. Of course, there was still a lot of stress in my life because I'm so worried about my dad and everything that's happening. But um, it was a great weekend. We did the pumpkin festival today and I'm gonna insert a couple of photos of the, of the pumpkins and some little video clips. Now the pumpkin festival is in Damascada, Maine and it is just a hop, skip and away from where we're camping in Booth Bay. And it's sort of an annual event for us. So we go over there, we check it out, and then we go down to Pemaquet Point to the lighthouse. And that's sort of like our little annual, little sort of hurrah, last hurrah of summer and all of that. So it was really pretty. I hope you enjoy the photos that I'm gonna share with you. We just totally enjoyed our weekend, the beautiful views, and we just love it here. Thanks so much for watching, and please be sure to thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you.